Hey guys, and welcome back to another, I don't know if long awaited, but another nail vlog. I honestly could not tell you the last time that I filmed a nail vlog, but I know that it was over a year ago, which I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen it, any of my nail vlogs, but I used to go get my nails done and kind of vlog throughout that day. So since I am going to get my nails done today, I thought that it'd be perfect to kind of vlog it and bring you guys along with me. I'm not only going to bring you guys along with the whole process and going to get my nails done per se, but also I think throughout the day. So I think um, later on I'm gonna meal plan and go grocery shopping. And I have a couple of things that I've purchased from Target for like the holiday season. So I guess I can show you guys all of that. I really hope that my camera isn't moving too, too much. I just wanted to come on here really quick to kind of mention not the place that I'm going per se, because I'm not 100% sure if I'll be talking about that too much, but I am going to go to a new place that I haven't been to and I've been seeing it all over Instagram so I had I think I've been following them for a couple of weeks now and I've been seeing their work and they do pretty good work so I thought that I would check them out and kind of see how um, they do my nails I did have to book an appointment and pay a deposit which with like Instagram pages or like nail salons um, that's kind of a more frequent thing that I've seen um, people do even last year when I used to do my nail vlogs they all required a deposit so the only thing with this nail shop which is different than any of the ones that I've been to before is that they don't do soak offs so they don't take off nails especially if they were not done and then I asked her if I could vlog a little bit of the process as I usually do for these nail vlogs but she unfortunately told me that probably not just because she's kind of in a time crunch and she needs both of my hands which she would know that I would need to record with one hand and putting up and setting up my camera and all of that would kind of take a little bit bit too long so unfortunately I won't be showing you guys any of the process but I still wanted to come on here to kind of tell you guys what I wanted to get done and also to show you guys at the end of the video also I'm sorry if I'm not straight just looking at the camera because I'm driving but yeah so I am excited I actually have been seeing a whole trend of just what is it called it's like French tip nudes which i'm not sure if that's the term for it or not but that's what i'm gonna call it and i'll pop a few pictures up here of what i want to get and i'm excited to kind of do it my own because i obviously as you guys know from having my sticker shop and everything like that i can't really have really long nails like that is a no-go for me so i'm going to try to get them kind of like a medium length although i know that that was probably not the ideal length for what I want to get but we'll see what she tells me I might get them a little bit longer if she says that it doesn't work but yeah I'm excited for this I'm gonna stop talking to the camera because I'm sure this is all very shaky and I'll see you guys once I'm out to kind of show you guys what I have but of course so far my nails are little nubs <laughs> I don't have anything I clean them up I think I clean them up pretty well I want to say for what I had before from what I had before so yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit. so I decided to film once I got home so I'm, I'm all parked I'm here and I got my nails done which I kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about I'm a little oily mess here but I ended up going with gel X nails I did end up doing what I first wanted to get done which was the I know I called it the French tip like nudes but it's more French tip neutrals which I've seen a lot of so I did end up getting that but instead of them being acrylic nails they are just gel X nails which this is my first time getting this done and I absolutely love the way that um, my nail tag actually described it and kind of gave me pros and cons as to if I should do gel X or not which I am going to mention where I went just because she gave me these really cute business cards so i ended up going to blossom beauty bar which i hope you guys can see here it is located in whittier california so if you guys are kind of in that area um i definitely suggested if you do go make sure you mention my name romina but yeah she gave me a couple of these to kind of just give around but i really loved my experience there i know i wasn't able to film 
the actual process of anything like that because it did honestly require like both of my hands like I was helping her out with like um I guess setting the nails and whatnot but I definitely 100 recommend her she is so great I think we got along really well and we just laughed off and just started talking a bunch which I really love when nail techs are like that I don't I don't, I don't really like when they're like silent really but yeah, so I ended up going to Blossom Beauty Bar and she did end up doing the kind of neutral French tip nails as you guys can see. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see them that great, but I love them. Like I mentioned, this was my first time getting Gel X nails, which the way that she described it between like Gel X and acrylic was that the acrylic would be you getting a Big Mac and Gel X would be you getting like a salad. So it is better of course for like your nail beds as well as they last longer but like the cons would be that they cost like a little bit more than acrylic. You can get fills on them but I do definitely feel the difference between the Gel X and acrylics because I've gotten nothing but acrylics pretty much like throughout the years so um this is definitely new for me it's almost like a press on nail but it's kind of like stuck there like it's not going anywhere and um i already did book my next appointment with her which is going to be in around a month because she told me that gel x nails can last up to like a month to a month and a half which is so crazy to me and even though i did pay the amount that i paid for these nails which i will mention in a second i do think they're worth it i don't know they're so like different for me like i've never gotten anything like this it's very trendy i think and i just love it i love how it is i ended up going with the medium length because as you guys know i have the sticker shop so i can't do too long but yeah i really love them i if you guys want to know how much I paid for these, I ended up paying $98 plus I gave her a tip, which I am kind of debating whether I want to take or pay some of this set with my YouTube money. So the money that I earn here on YouTube, just because I am making this video as well as I will be showing these nails in like the next couple of videos obviously because my channel is mostly just showing my hands so i'm honestly debating because these were definitely pricier but i mean the effort and what she had to do to do these nails i think it's worth the money as well as she ended up cleaning up my cuticles which my cuticles needed like a cleanup like they've been needing one for like months so um she also charged me for that which I'm glad that she took out and I'm thankful that she took out my cuticles. So I definitely do think I'm getting my money's worth as well as they look great. I don't think I've ever gotten nails like this beautiful. They look great. I, I, I'm actually really in love and I can't wait to start filming videos with my hands. I'm actually going to film one in a second, but... Yeah, so that's kind of my little spiel with my nails. Once again, check out Blossom Beauty Bar. They have an Instagram. That's how I found them. And it's right here as well if you guys want to check it out. That's their number. But I'm going to keep this here. I'll probably give a couple to like my friends. I'm going to go upstairs because I have to get to editing videos, recording. But I, like I mentioned, I will be vlogging kind of the day today because I know that this vlog is not going to be long at all. So I'm going to go upstairs. Paul actually just texted me telling me that he made a wing so i'm really excited he's actually working from home he has decided to work from home i think mondays and fridays just to also like save money on gas because those are the days that he typically doesn't have to do much or doesn't have to be at work necessarily um because he doesn't have any like i don't think like meetings and stuff like that i'm not sure he doesn't tell me anything about his job so i honestly could not tell you guys but that's what i got from what he told me so yeah so I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to have some wings. I'm going to show you guys a couple of the things that I got from Target because I'm actually going to wait until November 30th to decorate my place with like Christmassy things. And I just want to show you guys what I've gotten so far since I can't actually like put it up and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to bring you guys upstairs. We're going to eat and then I'm going to film, edit, or maybe edit my video first and then film my weekly check-in. And I think I pretty much have all my videos set for this week because I planned them in my pocket planner. I actually want to take a look at what I have today. Yeah, so I already have pretty much everything that I'm going to do. Oh, I have to design a, quite a bit of things and I have to post on Patreon. So yeah, I'm going to head upstairs and I'll bring you guys along to the rest of my day. I came home to, Paul made his lemon pepper wings again. They were so much better than last time, honestly. Yeah, I'm perfecting them, you know, repetition, 
I'm gonna Look get at my man out. working from home, cooking. I also cut up cucumber. He did. He cut up the cucumbers we've been meaning to cut for like <laughs> a week. <laughs> All right, so we just got a car wash. I could not even tell you guys the last time that I washed my car. That's kind of sad, I should have probably not said that, but now we're going to go to, where are we going? We're going to Sick Pops. Sick Pops is a collectible shop. Um, they sell a bunch of different types of lines of Funko, Hot Wheels, Marvel, anything a nerd's dream is. And I bought something online, so we're going to go pick it up. So we're going there, and then after we're gonna go grocery shopping, we have to head to Target <coughs> and to Food for Less. So we're bringing you guys along with us. I wanna show you guys everything that I got from Target so far because I'm that excited about Christmas, so. All right guys, so we are back from Target. We were actually supposed to go to Food for Less as well to get our real groceries. These are probably just the things that we can get at Food for Less and that we like to get at Target. But yeah, we didn't end up going to Food for Less because it kind of already got a little late. So we just ended up picking up these things up as well as I think we got like stockings and stuff like that. But all of that I'll show you guys tomorrow i think because i think we are going to go end up going we have to go to the grocery store tomorrow so we just got some bread velvetas i love these the chocolate ones and then they had these gingerbread ones i just finished the pumpkin spiced ones so i thought i would try these out this is for paul we got some clam chowder we needed toothpaste cheese it's coffee mate we've been looking for this hazelnut creamer for like I think two weeks now. We're trying out this cran mango juice. We're making lasagna this week, so we got another uh, one of these boxes. And last but not least, I had to get the peppermint mocha K cups. They didn't have this last time I went to Target, so I'm so glad that they have it up now. Everything is super in theme with the holidays, and I'm so excited. So that's a little grocery snack situation that we got from target also for tonight's dinner we're keeping it very simple here i got these ramens from my parents house i think they get it from costco but these are probably the best ramens that i've had so good so we're gonna have this for dinner with probably like egg we could have put like cilantro and green onions but we didn't end up going to food for less so we're just gonna have to eat it like so which is fine so that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. Added an egg there and everything. So we're back from Food for Less. This is the day after. But I thought that I would show you guys what we got for our grocery run. Just because we got quite a bit of things. We're making, well, we're eating tacos tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna eat the clam chowder. And Thursday we're making lasagna. So we got a couple of things as well as like salad mixes for the week because it's kind of what i want to eat for lunch now instead of not eating at all like i typically do so we got some mozzarella cheese cucumbers ground beef some of these yogurts paul likes my mom actually mentioned that i should get this for the tacos to season the meat with and she said that this is what my dad uses so i got one of these two alkaline waters some cottage cheese tomato paste and tomato sauce, some oyster crackers, regular crackers. Um, we have a tomato here, some small tortillas, a couple of avocados, got some apples, garlic, some limes, cilantro. I got a bag of baby spinach, a bag of one of these salads. I've actually had this before and it's really yummy, so I thought I would just get it. We got some pecans for salads as well, some basil, green onions, bananas, and last but not least, we got some strawberries. So 
a pretty healthy grocery run i would say so i'm excited to eat all these i guess so i am back it's been a couple of days since the last clip but i wanted to make sure to show you guys what it is that i've gotten so far for the holidays as you guys can see i have a couple of boxes some of these actually have like one thing so it, it looks like a lot but it's really not all that much um, but i also have a couple bags these bags or most of them have been in my closet or they've been accumulating in our closet here so i think it's time for them to be shown and i'm really excited so let's go ahead and get started with like the bags I think this might have been the first one that we got but these are just like boxes that were at like the dollar section at target oh this is pretty much from target except for one bag that's from ross we have a couple of bags here couple small ones i love to get these kind of more ex inexpensive bags from the dollar section rather than spending like five dollars per box and stuff oh and this is actually for today or friendsgiving which i will be vlogging in a second i just wanted to finish up with this vlog so this is for today actually then this bag we just got i think last week so we ended up getting our tree which is still in my car now that i think about it but for my tree i got this tree skirt very extra just like me so we got that we got a couple i think we got two of these mini lights if you know i have i think my tree is three feet i want to say or six foot i don't know how many of these i need but i did end up getting two so i got this one and this one then since we got stockings we decided to just get the really plain one i think this would go perfect with our tv stand there so that's why i got just a plain black one and then a couple of mittens that i'm going to give away so that's this bag little decorations that we got so we got a couple of these trees i think we got two of these so we got two of those then then this really cute house so this was five dollars and then since i will be baking this holiday season i decided to pick one of these up i think this might have been the bag that my sister got for me yeah so this is this is something that my, my sister had gotten because i think all the christmas things were already on display at her target so we got one of these silicone baking mats a couple cookie cutters we got a spatula with which this kind of print is gonna be my essential print which i'm sure is going to be many others because this is the print that they have at target but i got a little spatula as well as this kitchen towel to match i actually bought after this haul after this bag two more of these just because it went so well with everything it showed me this and i was like that is the coolest thing ever so <laughs> she got it she got it for me then paul really wanted to get these for the window and we do have a pretty big window in our living room so we got two of these because my boyfriend is a 10 year old <laughs> first i had gotten this tissue pack which cost me four dollars but then i checked the dollar section and they did have these for a dollar which i'm sure it's less than the four dollar one but i just like to get as many tissue paper as i can because the, i do run out of this pretty fast um, and i'm sure there's not like too too many in here so i got a bunch of tissue paper then some of these gift tags from the dollar section i'm trying to go for like the candy cane route so i thought these would be cute for presents i got one of these dish towels that just say mrs claus bakery i think i thought it was cute so we got that some of these gift tag stickers because you can never have too many of these i know my family always asks me if i have some left so i did just get two packs and then to go along with that beautiful print of the spatula and the um dish towel i went ahead and got this tin box that matched as well as a little mug that just says cup of cheer I love this and I was so sad when I made my decorate with me video for fall and I didn't have a mug to go along with the season so I wanted to make sure that I had one for the holiday season so I got these two those and some stockings we decided to go with these 
classic one. So you got an R and a P that I was talking about in my last weekly check-in video. It's perfect. It says it's beginning to look a lot like cocktails and it was only $8. I think this might be on sale at the time that I'm uploading this video, by the way, because I am filming this little clip prior to me uploading it, but just thought it was cute to have. I got these tiny ornaments, which were actually my sister's, but she just sold them to me for the little tiny tree that I'll be having in my office. Then I went ahead and got one of these hand towels for Paul's bathroom. I just thought it was funny and the cutest thing ever, so I got that. And one more of the kitchen towels. Sister found this sifter and baking tool set. So she got that for me because I really want to kind of go a little hardcore with the baking this holiday season. Just because I have my own place and I can bake whenever I want. So I'm very excited. I found these really cute kitchen towels. I kind of want to have like two of them, two to three of them so that I can change them out. But I thought these were so cute, little cookies. And then the cutest little salt and pepper shaker. Tell me this is not the cutest thing. This cost me $3.99 at Ross. It's just a snowman and a snowball. Like, how cute is that? Definitely had to get that. I got two ornaments, one for Paul and one for Andrew, my brother. Then I have gotten this advent calendar. It's just a socks, um, 50 days of socks for my little brother, Andrew. I was going to get one for Paul, but the one that I got for him is a little bit more expensive. And he told me that the socks in here are too small for him. So this is for my brother and then he's really into the whole Funko Pop so I ended up getting him this Funko Pop Dragon Ball Z advent calendar I got both of these at Target by the way so he's excited for this I care to know but I got this lamp it's really cute I got this lamp as well decorations which I thought these were going to be a little bit bigger but they ended up being tiny so I think I'm going to return these because they were supposed to be for my tree um, I got these tiny, cute little trees and another one of those houses. This one has like glitter on top. I really like that. It's cute. And then last but certainly not least, I just got this pillow for my accent chair that just says Merry Christmas. I will try to leave links to some things if you guys would like, um, but of course you could just go ahead and check out your Target app or your local Target. But this is the accent chair that I'm thinking of putting that pillow in, so I think that will look so good. But that is all that I have for this video. Take care, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.